Drake and Rick Ross. I want these two to make music so bad. It almost hurts. <laughs> I really like these two making music. I like Rick Ross. I like Drake. Right? You know why allegedly they're... they're That's surprising they got into me. It, I ain't gonna lie. Or not got into it, but like really why I Ross don't, with don't Ross? fuck with Drake. I it's kind of like one the of same biggest thing. Right I told you other rappers told me, they're like, yo, Especially after Drake, Drake will string a song for endless amount of time. You know, even he we'll push our Drake. album back. Because he'll be like, nah, send me a song. I, we send him a song. We don't get it. <laughs> You don't get it, or we get it. You don't want to clear it. Oh, we don't want to drop it. Oh, the, the, the boy doesn't want to put this out right now. The boy, like, you know, this, every time people tell me some shit, they're like, they say that's how Drake people talk to them. The boy doesn't want to do that right now, the boy. And they're like, what? What the fuck? They're like, yo, we're just partying. We're just chilling. Uh, but the Drake Rick Ross thingy, right? Like, look at this. Like, supposedly, supposedly, Grammy-nominated song. Grammy nominated song, Go Roses. Right? You be talking like Go that Roses. Too. Go Roses. But you right? making, bro. You it, got if a you accent, ever watch the video, your own shit. Drake's verse is not in the video. I'm doing at that all. mumbling shit again. My fault, Chuck. Remember, my this fault. song got nominated for a Grammy. Right? By the way, I love this song. Like, right? So they bitches. Drake's verse is not in here at all. You... Drake is not in the video either. Now, you got to imagine also rappers be watching shit, too. If Sexy Red got got to do anything, Drake is there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Drake is, you know, he got to And again, you you know, we could also make the, the, the argument to say Drake is going to, like, he's one man. What, what more could he fucking do? Like, you know, could be everyone. But, like, you know, people are realizing certain shit. Drake does a song, whatever, whatever. Video time, Drake ghosting. <laughs> Drake ain't in the video. The video gets cut. Right, the video gets cut without Drake's uh, in it at all, and also gets cut with them editing out Drake's part. Okay, why is that? Is then reported, or not reported? You know what I mean? But I hear through the grapevines, Drake got in his feelings with Rick Ross. Why? Rick Ross drops Maybach 6. Who's featured on it? Is it 6? No, no, that's, that's 4. Maybach 6, Rick Ross. Who's featured? <laughs> Maybach Music 6. You see this name right here? Push your T. So Pusha T's on it. Drake's like, I'm cool. Feel me? Mm. So because Drake does this. You know, them boys legend, did beef around that time. Drake goes for the whole video. For the other joint. So, so, so Ross puts Pusha T here. Ross, I don't think Ross is playing no politics. That boy but just now networking, Ross working. does that. Ain't no Drake for the video. You got to imagine... Ross is feeling away. He got to feel away. Yo, yo, Go Roses. Uh, a, yo, Go Roses got nominated, bro. Go Roses nominated. Nominated for a Grammy, my nigga. Best rap song of the year. Right? Best rap song of the year. If you look at the album. By the way, this album was fire, too. Yeah, Port of Miami, boy. Port of Miami, too. Is this when he just left? Is this when he just left? Was this his last song on, on Epic or the one he just got there on? Because this one was good. But you're going to feel a way. The biggest song on the album, Gold Roses, that got, that got, um, um, hmm. th that got, uh, Drake on it. You shoot the video, the nigga goes show. And by the way, I don't think the Pusha T version of this song was ever on. I don't think that shit was ever on the album, was it? Yeah, I don't know what type of time Drake think he on, bro. I'm paying you for a feature. It's time to shoot the video you think you finna go ghost. Nah, bro, like 6 9 them, bro, we finna go kidnap your ass, bro. Your ass shooting this video, bro. You tripping, hell nah. Especially after what you be texting niggas oh, for these features. It was never even on the album. It's on his YouTube. And you want a percent of their songs? So when did Drake do this? Yeah, I mean, you, getting, uh, you getting took. Forcefully. Money over. 
Nah, he wild. He wild. He wild. <laughs> you know you always got to look at that. Pusha T, Maybach, music, lyrics. But allegedly, this is why Drake ain't do it. Let's see. This must have been a remix, because ain't no way Pusha T was on a record with Wayne, right? Hell no. Nah. Oh, this is the extended. What a year, True Colors Exposed. Oh, he's rapping uh, pretty much an aftermath of the whole Drake, his beef with Drake or Drake beef with Kanye, where they said you're hiding a child. Oh, okay. That always makes sense. Crowns on clowns. It's like you colored your nose. We talking skill set or popularity polls. When you speak truth to power, your popularity. And like last time that boy did have a rap beef, we did find out about Adonis. <laughs> so is the reason that Drake's suing everybody right now is because we found out something else? Grows. P peers Allegedly? switch gears out of relevance or fear. But I'm starting to think when like, their well, name's not as hot, who want to stand me? All of you niggas point. weird. How can you compare? When you say you've been rich, we need that shit like veneers. For every hundred thousand dollar chain I see on a thousand thousand air neck, I dare not to be young nigga, old nigga. You all the same to me. Just one slick tweet from a trending dangerously, rare form airborne since clearborn, been. Fly like a runway was clear for him. White wedding, Vogue had the exclusive. Any blemish on my past was prostitution. Sit back and let them draw their own conclusion. A picture's worth a thousand words, Mr. Houston. You wonder why cocaine's up in every song? Remember Drake had said that. Go, go make up some rhymes about, like, you know, selling weight or whatever. He said, you, you basically said, you, you ain't living and you witness for your folks bad, right? When your music fell, cocaine righted every wrong. White Ferrari, Bo Derek. But inside black, you stand a bow legged. Go home and go get it. Your Miami rental cars are sleeping in my garage, motherfuckers. Yeah, he kind of just, he sneaked this Drake on that a little bit. You? Okay, I, I could see. Okay. All right. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, but I don't look at people like Ross and like Khaled. Those are like, to me, the connoisseurs of collaborations, right? I don't look at the, yeah, well, I guess I can understand Drake's point too. My nigga, like, you Can't forget T Pain, you know? Can't forget T Pain and Wayne back in the day. On your featured single, bro, you can't have my op <laughs> on your extended version of the song dissing me. Fuck out of here. I ain't like, know why I, to I do guess. a feature I, too. I, I guess. Hmm. And Wayne got some of the most versatile now, features we didn't seen, bro. Um. And he wasn't scared to get on those song when it. Eminem. Now there was a whole push of T and Young Thug thing <laughs> that happened. What was their beef about? Yeah, let's talk about that, bro. A lot of people ain't going bar for bar with Eminem, bro. They like to talk about him on them songs, but they ain't hopping on the song with him. He ain't lying. See, Wayne wasn't scared of that smoke. Wayne got it right in that fire with his ass and dropped the world. The fuck you talking about? Come on. Yeah, now. yeah, yes. Here we go. Maybat Music 6, 2019 Rick Ross song featuring John Legend and Wayne. The, the track on appeared head. on Port of Miami. A leaked version features uh -huh. an additional verse yeah. from Pusha T. In the leaked verse, Pusha addresses Drake. Okay. I'm batting 100 over here, chat. Chat, this is exactly what I heard happen, bro. So, listen. Y'all can source me if y'all want, but this is facts. Um, when reached out by Pitchfork, a representative for Pop Smoke Estate, uh, offered no whatever, whatever. What? And then somehow... Why did Young Thug jump in? And then Pusha T responds to Thug saying, number one, don't feel bad. Nobody knew what the verse was about. The label heads that stopped it didn't know. The, they only assumed because he told them. The same way he told about Rick Ross Maybach. Whoa. See, Pusha T been trying to warn us about Drake, bro. About police light-skinned Drake, bro. Nothing against the light skins, bro. But he be acting like a light skin. If y'all know the y'all know the means behind our culture, oh. they be getting on the light skins, the basketball players, all that. Six verse. So he been telling. He told on Ross. He told on Pusha T. Yeah, the person who. T I heard about the Pusha T one the other day. I'm talking about Jay had like 26 million views on World Star. Drake got that took down. Like, mm -hmm. take it down. Now he's trying to do the same thing with Kedrick. That man trying to go to court about this. It's just not, now it's reaching the public.
Now I won't need 10, I need Jake to see this. See, before they try to keep it suppressed, but now they ain't even pushing them. At the label I heard, this man dropped like 30 some songs. I still ain't heard one. <laughs> Told me to say, oh, yeah, 100 gigs. The reason why Ross and, and Drake been beefing, been in front of our face the whole time. Okay, yeah, that's it. not like Let us. Me go take a <laughs> still hear that. Oh, man, I'm missing Thanksgiving for this shit. <laughs> so push it this saying. Hold up. So now this makes sense. Alright, I promise I washed my hands. Promise. Yeah. I did. Look. It's a little way. Look how fast he came back. Alright. Okay, so now this makes sense. Okay, damn. This whole time. He wasn't going to the best sources in the world, chat. So Pusha T admits, I guess even the young thug was going back and forth over something, and, the, and I guess they're saying nobody knew whatever, whatever. They said they only assumed because he told him to, I guess that he is Drake. They're saying Drake had told the labels to either remove or change a verse. Or something. And he said he did the same thing that he did about the Ross Maybach 6 verse. And if you'll tell a record executives. Oh, so this is why these niggas be mad at Drake. If you'll tell a record executive about rap verses, God only knows what he'll tell them. I don't deal in police work. What? You know what I'm saying? All them people trying to act like y'all fake slime for Drake. Wait till his Rico come, but he finna tell on y'all faster than 6 9 told. Police rappers or police niggas. Watch the fuck this is july 7th 2020 oh my god oh fuck they already be self snitching so now we're getting it so apparently right, that one just, that just got out. maybe drake hollered at the labels to make For sure no one Pusha T wasn't on that Maybach six verse because he was dissing drake and then drake is kind of tight at ross because he would even allow it and he don't do Gold Roses, the video. They cut the video, cut Drake's part out. They also do the video without it. And then, basically, so he probably would be feeling the way. I don't know if the French thing is true. I don't know if that French thing is true because, you know, Ross did say, yo, you, you did some other weird stuff to French. You wouldn't clear his song, Right. And no, that would have went crazy, when, boy. French you know, would have carried right that time, man. Ross is like, Fuck French, another feature man right now. Let me air it out. That's French crazy. go crazy on those features, boy. No fucking way. What happened? What happened? At? <laughs> what that is, man? Hmm. What they text you? This man gets text messages. He trying to hide his yeah, messages that's what, now. That's what Drake did to Future back in the day, huh? <laughs> Ain't nah, nigga. Yeah, yo. You said that's what Drake the did to Future. To me, yo, 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 they said it's not like, yo, they, they basically said everything was prepared. Like Drake was booked to be, <laughs> yo, Drake fucked up. <laughs> I guess fucked up. Well, you know, Drake, Drake is feeling a certain type of way, man. Like, yo, a nigga snitched on me having a son. Like, I was trying to keep it low. Gold ro Yo, that's my joint. Yo, if if this is the reason, I ain't going to lie to you, as much as I love Drake and Ross together, if arguably their best song is the reason they never collab again, okay, it'll make a little bit better. It'll make it better for me because I thought they were beefing over a girl. I was going to be hurt. I'm like, yo, fuck these hoes. Get back in the studio. So supposedly Drake was booked to be at Ross Cold and Drake were beefing over a girl. He was supposed to be in the video. Like, nigga, like, Ross got it like that? Ross is there. You could imagine Ross. I guess that money do it too then, yeah. From, 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 from the hustling video. You just need that type of money right there. <laughs> Where you at, Aubrey? White boy, where are you at? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Rick Ross. <laughs> What's the name of that video? Is it Hustling? The one where he jumps hustling, off the bridge. Hustling, Not hustling, hustling. We'll say every day. Where am I? <sighs> That's no, we ain't doing that, bro. We ain't playing no music. Is speeding? <laughs> All right, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I'm sure they had a conversation, though, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure they had a conversation. They hey, what are they going to talk about? I'm wondering if Drake, like, like again. What are they talking about? Eh? I think us as fans, we do look at things like, you yo, think bro, they had a conversation. he's one man. 
This man just got beat up in Toronto. Drake is like all of our OGs. Like he's basically means he's been doing favors and helping everybody out. Playing not like us. These other niggas don't do shit. Like we just seen, yo, everybody's giving Kendrick Lamar credit for putting on like eight unknown artists on his album. Drake been doing this shit all his career. So maybe I think fans look at it like, all right, yeah, maybe he did fuck up. But Drake do it more like on more on some predator vibe. He going for all the money that they make. They not making no money. Like he doing them wrong. He probably signing them to 1080s. I heard about one artist he put, he put on the shelf because he found out it was some shit going on. So I don't even blame him for that one. But still, he doing weird shit like that to his artists and shit and people he working with. So what you expect? Or like, you know, he, you know, yeah, he iced you out here or like he didn't, you know, he didn't show up to this thing. But bro, like he has a good track record. He's helping people out. He's he's trying to do the, the right thing, right? Which I would, would imagine wow. if that's the thinking, we would think that Drake would hit these guys up and be like, yo, bro, my bad I missed the video shoot, bro. Like, I was just recording in the studio with SZA for like 10 years. And like, yo, I, I overslept. I couldn't make the flight. My bad I didn't make it down to Miami to do the Gold Roses video. I'm sorry, my brother. Like, yo, let's could we do another date? Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out, right? I would imagine like that. These guys have made millions of dollars together. I would imagine it would be like that, right? Or Drake had that nigga blocked. I want picking up no it? calls or they that do not disturb <laughs> shit. Speeder we heard this other nigga trying to use recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my phone on do not disturb. Speeding. <laughs> yeah, this is how she went across when he about to call Drake. Drizzy. <laughs> like, yeah, come on. <laughs> he said Jeezy or Dreezy. <laughs> I, wear, like, I said right there. One thing for sure, two things for certain. You know what Khaled would have done. Khaled not... Yo, if Drake don't show up to the music video shoot, Khaled's bringing the music video shoot to Drake. <laughs> that's well, a fact. That's a you know, he fact. said, I like what Drake like. <laughs> like, you know, Drake, I'm like, yo, yo, Cody, I'm stuck in Toronto. They're not letting me through the border. I know I'm usually boarding the guy, but they're not, they're not letting I'll be me there Cody in five through. Minutes. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you know what Khaled gonna be? I'll be right there, Drake. <laughs> he ain't lying. We the best. <laughs> that boy done shot after he had Drake career, all type of shit. <laughs> I don't like Khaled so creative, bro. I think he had Justin Bieber do a uh, Drake song, sing word for word, down there, perform the song for him. Like, what? So you got production money like that to pay Justin Bieber to perform for Drake? Oh, no, nah, y'all really were boosting Drake career. Oh, y'all doing stuff like that for Drake? Oh, yeah, chill. Oh, chill out. Oh man, I can oh, imagine Ross out. saying, "All right, man, no more club live for that nigga." I remember Drake, that man. song, but I remember that song. <laughs> Has Drake been the club live since? I don't think Justin Bieber had a verse on that one. <laughs> oh no, he was there. <laughs> Holy shit, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Yo, chat, they're waiting for me at Thanksgiving, but I can't leave, bro. I can't leave. I can't. Man, bar feeling, boy. See, let me see. Let me see. Everybody wish yeah, you could leave, for real. Right <laughs> now, act, act hard worker, boy. It's motivating right here. Y'all fuck with Rick Ross' new artist. He got this new it's artist. It's motivating right? right here. Reason why I say he that. He new artist. This nigga up, and he's skipping Thanksgiving, bro. And he a bad nigga too, bro. He's skipping Thanksgiving, bro, just to keep working, bro. But you know how important it is to be working on this Kendrick and uh, Drake case right now. Not only because he messed with Drake, but because he a smart content creator, boy. Let me learn from niggas like this, boy. Real shit. But we got some old Kendrick videos coming, man. You heard me? Y'all won't believe what time it is and how long nigga been up, but that's the time we got to get on. You heard me? I think, is this a music video? I guess Real it's... shit. Uh, where's the video? Where's the video? He got his new artist named Nino Breeze. Niggas low key going up type shit. Nah, I can't even lie. Where's the video? Is this the video? This is only lyric video. All right, hold on. All right, let's let's do the lyric video. Apparently Ross was rapping about some shit on here. Here we go. You better crawl, window pogan. Okay. I'm the type of nigga. Always got some paper. Do the spin of black. Is this Nino Breeze nigga from um where you from? You from like Broward County or something like that? Or is he from Dade County? Let me try to get some Ross part. I'm the type of nigga to paint a honey shit. Oh shit, we got Rose on here. Names will never die. There we go. Oh, boy, I'm I'm oh. oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is great. I'm the type of nigga who won't wear no lotion. <laughs> you say you really excited for them boys too. That boy said. Apparently he really says some shit. Hold on. Nah, I ain't know that way messed with Ross though, but that's way. Oh, money back. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, is he from St. Petersburg? I'm in the boxes like a streaming fuck you feel. I'm a tight man. Anyway. All right. Who else? Who else? Um. Who else has Drake been beefing with that we don't understand why? I'm going to figure out all these beefs. Oh, man. Now nah, Dra nah, Dra nah, Drake and Rick Ross hurt my heart, man. Damn. Drake ain't show up to the 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 Gold, the Gold Roses video because Rick Ross had Pusha T on the record, and R Rick Ross was dissing him. Mm. Oh shit. It said that record was cleared when Drake found out it was taken off. Oh. <clears throat> oh, they said the reason the push a T shit wasn't on there on, on the album? It said the record was cleared, Drake found out. And the label then forced it to be taken off the album, but some of the albums were pressed up as physicals, and that's how the Pusha T shit got out. So they say Drake had that label take mm. the, take off Pusha T's verse. Off. So how they be doing bundles and they ship they then shipped out the bundles so that the sales count towards the album sales. People been had the old copy before the label decided. Oh, now we finna swipe that. And they kept the sales in because they needed the sales, you know, to fluff up the numbers. So that's how the Pusha T version got out. Is what he's saying, basically. You know how they be so, doing uh, bundles and shit. Oh, shit. For first week sales, you know, sales, all that. They need their money. Mmm. Apparently, let me say, is it Ross kind of alludes to it here? Every time I lead them lambs, damn, why can't let the music play, bro? Stop doing me like that. And bro. apparently, they've collapsed since then, but but none of them have songs. been on Ross's projects. It's been on like some Drake shit. That's kind of interesting. Right, you playing with me? The hundred million dollar songs, you just playing them. Like, they ain't gonna copyright us. Oh, no, nah, this, this gets deep. Come on, at you know that why I can't even react to your podcast like the that, label gang. Heads that stopped it didn't even know. Oh, so I'm hearing that Pusha T found that. You know, I want you be having a banging interviews over there. I still watch them. Yeah, I still the watch them. Labels, you just can't react. The label heads that stopped it, they previously approved it, so they approved Pusha being on the record until Drake found out they had to take it back, and they didn't know. What, what it was behind. Oh, that's interesting. So he been doing it. Say it, man. You got to say it, bro. Really? Say it so people can know, man, because they listening to you at. <clears throat> oh, my God. Drake's been doing this. Oh, and, and this thing was about... Drake's big um, shooter. Say some dumb shit like that. Shortly after the arrival Try of Pop Smoke's Pop's Pop Pop album, blah, blah. Um, I feel him though. Those features from these. Uh, I trying to stand on business. You know, I'm like, damn, if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I ain't finna say nothing at all. It ain't my place to talk bad on Drake because I love him. That's how you feel, bro. Hey, that's how you feel, bro. That's how you feel, bro. I and, respect it. Bro. I'm gonna Young Thug and Pusha T on you, Instagram. Steven you stand Victor on your morals or whatever you to believe blame in. the absence of paranoia from the album on a glitch. As Hype Beast notes, Pusha but appears gotta see to address Drake with paranoia lyrics. Pusha T allegedly raps on the alleged track. You know reality bites. It's chestnut checkers. Those empty threats only sound good on your records. If the patwa is not followed by a blocker, it's like Mark for death screw face without the chopper. Let him rush the stage. When you made like Sinatra only to hide the blade flying back through La Gorgia, I might even buy a home out in Mississauga, which is a place in Canada. Oh, shit. What? Yo, that's crazy. If Drake had that much power? No, nah, don't act like he did it. He did at one point. A couple months before, you know, oh, Kendrick so, did it to so, him. 
Young Thug has said this. I don't respect the Pusha T verse on the song with me and Gunna because I don't have nothing to do with y'all beef, nor does Gunna. And if I knew that was about him, meaning if he knew that was about Drake, I would have made changes on our behalf. This rapper shit so gay. So basically, Young Thug was basically saying, no, to the fact. He, he was set why up. the fuck is Pusha T on a song with me and Gunna dissing Drake? Did that song come out? Paranoia. Yeah, I think that came out. Paranoia. If that's the song, I think that Pop came out. Smoke. Nah, I oh, don't know. Shit. I don't know now. Lyrics genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they took off Pusha T. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, Drake took that nigga off of off, uh, off of Pop Smoke's album? That's gangster. <laughs> yep. I told y'all, I told y'all them exact words, but he was looking for a way he could just call that nigga gangster, but, but you feel me? He just standing on his own little principle. He like, if he ain't got nothing nice to say about Drake, he ain't gonna say it. So he just waiting for the perfect opportunity to make Drake look like how he want him to look. Can you blame the nigga? Nah, bro. You look up to bro. That's that's his. That's his favorite rapper, you feel me? That's like a superhero right there. Like, I could imagine. Oh, hey, which this this kind of makes you feel a it's little bit less bad that for Drake. Me no, Drake. When, like, nigga, if you had that you much grown, power, bro. it's you're too hard grown for, for this. You, bro. If you had, you see, you see, Drake was bullying niggas that that wasn't on his caliber. <laughs> Drake was like, "Fuck that nigga, get us out." Yeah, he, you run into Kendrick. <laughs> oh fuck, but. I know Drake was bullying shit like that. Yo, Drake was like, man, yo, if Pusha gets on anybody's album dissing me, nigga, it's war. I don't know. I don't know what he said, but if that's it, I'm like, yo, that's fire. Yo, Drake, yo, that's crazy because he even dissed Steven Victor. Did he diss Steven Victor too? Um, Duppy Freestyle. By the way, one of the greatest diss songs of all time. I don't care what y'all say. Yo, Steve, he says, don't know why the fuck you niggas listen to Denim or Steve. Must have had your infrared wrong. Now you're headed a beam. Y'all the spitting image or whatever. Jealousy breeze. Don't push me when I'm in album mo mode. You're not even top five as far as your label talent goes. You send shots. Well, I got to challenge those. But I bring Calico to the Alamo. Oh, man, he went crazy there. Wow. Yo, Drake had that much power, bro? He was taking niggas songs off albums? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I never it was. So he been doing this, bro. It's just now he's suing. He going public with it because the labels ain't going his way. And he trying to and he trying to sue for what exactly? Bro, what you think finna happen to all your songs, bro? If this man's song get took down now because of some false or uh, malicious acts going on behind the scenes, they find out about what you think they finna do to your shit, right? They gotta play fair, cause now you you front page right with the man, so. If he, if he get that slap on the wrist, you got to catch the same one. And that's for all them songs that been carrying carrying you the uh, number one Spotify artist. I ain't saying all your screens fake, but damn. You finna get exposed, and it's, it might suck. It might suck. I don't know if you think it sucked now, nah, because you already in twice. They shut down the first one. You was doing the defamation, allegedly. So we got to throw everything I said is allegedly. Like, using his power like that. Like I heard about, I heard some artists like I could tell they were disgruntled. Allegedly, like, I guess Drake hold them like for publishing, but I ain't know Drake was saying, "Yo, take push off that fucking song immediately, nigga." Nigga, I don't care if it's even Pot of Smoke's album after death. Get that nigga song, get that nigga verse on that fucking album. And clearly, that must have been a thing because Young Thug spoke out about it, right? Young Thug. Wow, Young Thug was. Oh, there's a video. Hold on. First of all, your verse seven days, if you know what I mean. Week. <clears throat> nah, Thug was riding for. Thug was riding for. He was riding for Aubrey. Oh shit. He was riding for Aubrey. No, oh, I, oh, seven days, week, bruh. At you, quick on your toes with that one. That just blew me. That boy said his verse was seven days. Real one. I'm up for a week. I gotta use that one. Second of all, 
I thought he was saying you like, are... oh, it was long, it was boring, it took too long to get there. No, nigga. We what seven days you? Mm-hmm. Wordplay. Ooh, we already done got them. You already went crazy the first time, so you ain't even got it. Ain't nothing but a sucker going on double takes and triple takes and mm, basically say yo. So you talking about the uh the disc basically that he ain't know Drake was finna have just now with Kendrick. Cause you know, but it was like around four. I heard about to go to round ten. Jake got plea ran around what? Oh, yeah. It's over with. Whole time, boy. He, he had all this emotion. All this emotion. Oh, you already did the beef already. Why are you so dissing the nigga on the song that other niggas on now? We just trying but they to say he's trying to set too late in the country for real. Ain't nothing but a sucker going on double takes and triple takes and quadruple Same takes. Thing. You should have just got all lit out on the first song. You put the, put the first song out. <clears throat> mm. You ain't even had to do all that on those other niggas. You just feel like you ain't going to get the, uh, enough views on your own shit. So you came and put some bullshit on a whole nother a, a nigga who's resting in peace music. Oh. Trying to fuck up a nigga whole vibe. Cause you feel like, but this is the perfect platform. Thug, Gunna, and, and Pop Smoke. This is the perfect platform to go at this nigga ass. This is the perfect song to do it on. Why the fuck you ain't do that shit on your own song? Do that shit on your own song, nigga. Yeah, and, and this album came out what year? 2020. You gotta remember, Drake and Thugger, Thugger and them, they locked in. Drake, Thugger, Baby, Gunna, they're locked in. You know, Drake, Drake Drake pop in like, 2020. Come on now. Oh. Ooh, okay. Now it's making all sense, man. Yo, so Drake was bullying shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Drake. Yes. If Molding, he was bullying man. niggas, I don't, I don't know if we can feel bad if you're getting bullied. Yo, that's the right? like, that's kind of what it is, though, right? Uh, like, if you telling niggas, yo, you can't put this song, album this is. verse on, this, uh, this whatever, whatever. I'm hoping it's not a situation where it's like, nah, don't put out, like, nobody's going to bully Kendrick shit. Like, Kendrick is is an artist. He's not on your level, but he's right there. Nobody give a fuck about no Pusha T? Like, respectfully. What I mean, like, if Pusha says he wants to do A, and you're Drake, and you said, yo, y'all better not put that on there. They're going to be like, Drake doesn't like it. If Kendrick wants to do A, and you say you don't like it, they're putting that shit on there. They're going to be like, well, deal with it, nigga. <laughs> mm. So now I'm getting the info. They said Drake tried a little boy, Rick Ross. Then I'm getting told they said Rick Ross gave Drake a song for, for CLB. Drake CLB. They said whatever song on there. Ross gave him that song. He, 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 apparently, he's featured on that song, too. Let me look. Ross? Is Ross featured on that? What song is it? You Only Live Twice. He said, oh, oh, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. Ross, you know? Yeah, Ross blessed him with that. But they say you don't see no more collabs after that. Holy shit. Yeah, Drake, we, we got to get you and Ross going back cool. No, Yo, listen. I'm, I'm going to sit both of them down. I'm playing. I can't do that. But <laughs> Ross, don't call him white boy no more. Don't talk about my nigga's nose. And 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 Drake, you you gotta start like showing up to video shoots, okay? And at least I gotta be honest. If you if I don't want you to feature, this is music, right? Everybody got their own pockets, their own families. If I don't want you to feature my biggest op, I should be like, yo, bro, I'm a yo, yo, don't put that fuck nigga push a T on there, nigga. I'm gonna give you a verse. That's fire. That's valid. That's valid. But but don't be like, yo, I'm going to use the labels to stop you from putting Pusha T on the record. And then I'm going to use the labels to stop Rick Ross, even though, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Somebody you know, said, I'm not going to trying to give out them verses for real. Nah, for real, right? Unless he Nah, my mama is blowing my phone up, man. My mama is blowing my phone up. Oh my God. Okay. One last thing. One last thing. All right. We, I, I guess I got to be a little bit normal today, right? Yo, Ty, fuck Thanksgiving, man. I'm chilling here with y'all. What's the problem? All right, never mind. I got to go show face to the family, right? 
That boy finally leaving for the Thanksgiving play. Mm, 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 mm. 